Hi guys, welcome to the next 48 tarot card reading for the sign of Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. So let's go ahead and see what the energies are coming in for the sign of Scorpio. Angels and spirit guides, messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Okay, let's see here. Hermit on the bottom could be dealing with a Virgo. Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Next 48, now till Friday. Seven of Cups. Confusion, overwhelm, having options complex choices in love there is a king of cups which is pisces energy but it could be scorpio or cancer in the crossing so someone showing you love or being very compassionate towards you wow we have queen of or queen of wands aries leo sagittarius is here. So recent past, seven of air. So we have the energy of trying to not get caught doing something where you're trying to avoid a hostile confrontation, trying to avoid a confrontation. High priestess. Secrets. Having a deep sense of inner knowing, intuition. Um, could be the occult, tarot, connecting in with the spiritual realm. There could be secrets here. There's a king of cups in the crossing. We have the justice card in the near future. So a balanced mind, a balanced perspective, equality, fairness will come in justice will be served you could be dealing with the courts forcing justice to happen the five of swords is you so you feel hurt by what a person did and you thought about it and you thought you know what that's not right i want to let them know it could be the energy of revenge. It's the energy of sort of like a conflict with someone. There's a king of pentacles around Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine. This person is in the environment or in the situation in some way. So unfortunately, Five of Swords too can be like blaming, like you feel like it's someone's fault. We have a Knight of Coin is what you're wanting. You're wanting to be loyal to this Earth sign here. What is the final outcome here? The world card and just so this to me is like justice again it's a it's financial balance the energy of gifting Taurus energy somebody is giving you either money or a tangible gift the world heart card is about great success you've achieved great success in your life why is there a five of air then that's like you're you want revenge on someone or you're angry at someone for what they did what is five of swords? Okay, ten of cups. It could be a family member or a long-term long-term emotional connection you have with someone. What is the high priestess? You could be even praying about the situation. Three of cups. There's a secret that no one that someone's not talking about 
about a group of three people or something here that has to do with socializing or people together. What is the justice card here? So some of you could be getting married too because we have a match. King and Queen of Wands. Two passionate people. Two creative people. This could be like a secret crush on someone where you feel like they're your soulmate. Um, first time it could be a divorce. But with the Six of Coin, the King of Coin, somebody wants a commitment or they're an earth sign and they're bringing balance in. What is Six of Coin? Five of Cups. Somebody here feels depressed or disappointed or sad or they can't focus on anything else but a loss that happened. So there's somebody is gifting someone, being generous. So what is the King of Wands about right here? What is the King of Wands? King of Air could be Gemini. Somebody could be making a legal decision, hiring a lawyer, could be somebody's cutting someone out of their life, it could be a person who's very cold. What is the Ten of Cups here? Okay, Two of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to find balance or juggling or trying to maneuver things trying to stay balanced, have a balanced perspective. Okay, two of cups. There is love here. There's a partnership between you and someone else. Ace of swords, you could get some new information about this situation. Okay, let's see. So the outcome here is a balanced financial, balanced perspective. There's love here. However, your energy comes in as five of swords, which is kind of like, it's kind of like you hurt me. And so the world card, a completed cycle. What is the world about? King of Wands. Could be a completed cycle with a fire sign. Or it could be a successful new beginning. Four of coin. Somebody won't let you go. What is the king of swords? Page of pentacles. It could be a Leo as well. Somebody reaching out to you. What is the high priestess here? Why is it here? What is the high priestess? Okay, something is changing. Good luck and good fortune. The wheel starts to turn. Oh, we have happiness, joy, and great positivity and growth comes in. Could be a Leo as well. The sun represents Leo. So what is the two of cups right here? What is the two of cups right here? The seven of air. Something about lies or cheating or... Hiding something. Avoiding communication. So what is the Queen of Wands? Two of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to multitask or juggle people or things. Or just maintain balance. Somebody's trying to maintain balance. There's a high priestess energy here though. Somebody's not telling a secret. Emotionally, somebody could feel like they want to move on. What is the Six of Coin? Or, yeah, the Six of Wands. So there's public recognition, victories, being rewarded is your outcome. Or a fire sign is coming in towards you. We have Aries energy on the bottom with Emperor. Okay. All right, so what are we getting? <laughs> Community. Something about helpful friends around you, more than one person, lots of people, social.
Seventh chakra, same energy as the high priestess, connecting in with your spirits, your angels, your guides. The door to value is opening here. Something here about showing appreciation. Money could be a job offer. And the garden and the gate. This has to do with your thinking about leaving your comfort zone. But you're not sure. Because you're, you are comfortable. The garden is comfortable. But so it's more like the energy of daydreaming. All tied up, yeah. So some of you feel like you can't leave your situation. There could be like a job offer in a different state. Hostilities, wow. What is this hostile situation? Financial. So what's coming in to fix this for Scorpio? The Temple Bath. So the High Priestess card coming out a lot is telling you to connect back in with your angels, your guides, your um, anything from the supernatural. Connect into spirit to get over this tough situation. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Thank you for watching. Um, please visit my website, starseed1111.com. Check out my shop and take care.